Is this the kitchen? It's a very understated kitchen to say 45 million, right? It's like, it's very simple. It's almost blending into the walls and the surrounding area as if you, they want you to like look through past it to this gorgeous view here and this view here. So that's really an interesting choice. Um, I'd say the dining area is almost more exciting than the kitchen. Gosh, that fridge is massive. Another TV area. Oops, I didn't mean to click. I think these are like matchsticks, but they're also like burnt heads. I feel like the art here really is telling the story. Like we could probably hear some fascinating things about the, this artwork. Yeah, I'm actually surprised by how, I don't want to say boring, but understated is really the word. How understated it is. And then this is like the main family room, I take it. The couch looks comfy, but white furniture makes me nervous. I have too many animals. We have a, a tablet station here. <laughs> it's interesting. And uh, what is this? Is this like a spare electronics room? Where are we? It's so weird. This is a pretty some weird seams here. Do you see it? But it's just kind of, is this a, just an extra bath? I don't know where we are right now. Um, can we go outside? Let's see. We'll go, we'll do this one. It's beautiful out here. I have always wanted to go to Puerto Rico, especially since I have friends who go and, you know, they post pictures and looks Looks lovely, this looks fun. Yeah, I'd really like to go. Okay, so it looks like it's a split plan. We've got living on one side and bedrooms, I assume, over here. Let's go down this hall. I love all the open light, the floor to ceiling windows. Not sure how I feel about the monkey, the zippered monkey heads. It's a clever take on the hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil, though. Okay. Wow. That's a bedroom. Wow, wow, wow. The landscaping is beautiful. It is gorgeous. Now, I can't tell how populated of an area this is, but they've done a great job at hiding. other houses, other people. Let's peek outside for a second. Look at that. Gorgeous. We have some nice Thai plants here. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, like we could be hiding another house right there for all I know. And I think that that's great because I want to feel private in my own home, right? I think we all do. Uh, so do we have a bathroom through here? Okay, closet some LV. Alright, we couldn't go in there. Oh my gosh, it's another toilet with a view. <laughs> toilet with a view. I can't go over there, but how funny is that? Whoa. What? What? What, what is the shower? It's a full this 
Or are they washer dryer? 
guys do dryers, I know that you like hang dryer, you put stuff on radiators. This has got to be one of the most nuts houses we've seen so far. Is this a library? Yeah, well, kind of. It's not like, it's not like crazy stocked, is it?
distracted. 
Jealous of 
is this the kitchen? Wow. That's a kitchen. It's it's simple, but it's the view that like the view is like the focal piece of this kitchen and is it ever stand out? Holy cow. I I love whatever these big plant boxes are on top of the fridge. I, I really am into those. I don't know if they're they're real or they're fake plants, but it's a really interesting fridge. It's like three fridges in one. It's so interesting. Um, I just, I really like this kitchen. It's not over the top. I feel like so many people would have fun cooking here, and a lot of these expensive homes, you don't always feel like actually cook in these kitchens, but I feel like whoever lives here, they do cook. I, I don't know. I feel like this is a very expensive family home, but it is still a family home. That's the vibe I'm getting from it. Um, shall we see what they're reading? A lot of aisles. These look like, uh, mystery. open to the 
Texas is in the Texas place in the last video that they had bathrooms like this where they were all glass encased in, in the bedroom and I don't know a lot of us agreed that it was kind of uncomfy I think this is done better but I still don't think I, I love having it be so open this is a really interesting space though being so open and then there's another bedroom over here yeah it must be guest quarters I guess so and yet another you got the closet and you got the bathroom well it's very uniform in that regard okay and it's all the way tucked away down here oh it's got hidden pocket doors here do you see that I love pocket doors I think they're a great use of space and then like the linen closet, which is a good idea to keep it next to like the guest quarters if they need an extra pillow or stuff like that. Okay, uh, have we seen the whole house? I'm not totally sure because, okay, this is, okay, we haven't come down this hallway, which is uh, where the laundry room is and another entrance into the garage workshop. And um, that's an interesting piece. If we continue up this way, is this another entrance into the house? I guess so. I wanna, let's see, let's look around. Yeah, okay, it's really interesting uh, design. I, I quite like it. I was gonna pop outside. Wow. I guess you're not meant to swim in it. Imagine sitting out here, like, oh, let's pop over here, too, where you can sit outside and eat and look at the view. This is a beautiful house, a beautiful house. I think it's really well designed. I think it's got the most amazing view. And look at that, like, no neighbors. Some people like that, some people don't. I, I understand. I'm kind of torn. Like, it can feel so peaceful and private, but simultaneously it can feel kind of scary and isolated, you know, like, ooh, there's no one around, what if I need help? So I, I kind of get both sides of that. Let me know, would you, would you like this feeling so private and like not having any actual neighbors around? Would you enjoy that? Or do you need to have people nearby for like safety? safe because like I seriously don't see a single house or car or road or anything like that it's pretty wild okay let's move on to the next house though this house is in Marrakesh Morocco and we hadn't you know gotten anything in Africa yet there weren't a lot with 3d doers there um, so I was pretty excited to see this one um, so <laughs> price of fun request so I don't know how much it is but it's massive, holy cow, almost 50, hold up, 26 bedrooms, is this a compound, I don't, I don't know that we're gonna have time to look at the, the entire place, holy cow, it's almost 10 acres, that's a lot, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay, let's, let's do the tour, they start us here, gorgeous inner courtyard. It's beautiful. I, I take it maybe the entrance is behind us. Wow. Okay, I think this is the front entry. I'm really digging these heavy double doors. They feel very solid and nice. And then you come in here where it's uh, an interesting blend of old world and, and new world. You know, old arc, older with newer modern architecture and I don't know I I sometimes like that I, I, I don't know uh, what is down here I'm just, just caught my eye oh I like these little cut out alcove little palm tree spaces I can't go further down here okay the doors are really pretty and there's these interesting little staircase like the kind of almost claustrophobic little staircases. Kind of odd. Alright, we've got more of these matching alcoves. Beautiful. Alright, 
is we've entered into a, a living room, sitting area kind of space, and it's weirdly kind of dark in here almost. Um, being surrounded on three walls like this, I can't move further over there. Uh, it's a very garish red too. I like this print more. I like I love this window a lot, but that's the window and the light from over here. It's the only thing that I didn't like. It's just that, like, this hallway is so light and bright. And then in here, it's, like, kind of feels... It feels claustrophobic. I don't know. Do you guys feel that way? Look up. Wow. I can't wait to go up there. Uh, oh, too far, too far. Okay, let's go back to the beautiful inner courtyard. Um, shall we make our way around, I guess? It's really, really pretty. Oh, these doors are so nice. Can we not go through them? Okay. This door might be kind of limited. I like how broken up it is, though, with these little courtyards constantly. That's, it's nice. But, like, is there anywhere we can go inside? Hello? Where can I go? see out here. Wow. Oh, this is absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. I love when a house can showcase nature and gardens and uh, landscaping like this. It's, it just makes me happy. I feel like I need greenery. I need to see. I, I can take it. I can't go in any of these. Yeah, I, I need to see nature in order to be happy. I wouldn't be happy in like a concrete jungle kind of place. I'm gonna go up these staircases. I think I can go up. Can I not go up them? This 3D door is like oddly limited. Okay, I'm, I thought it was gonna take us forever to get through this house and now I'm starting to think our door is, is being cut short. There's clearly a lot going on up here. There's like a ton of rooms and it's like it's like we're only being allowed to glimpse the, the teeniest inside of the house. Can I go up these stairs? Just 
sitting area it's kind of reminding me of a resort the ceiling is really cool and then we've got an eating area a huge eating area that's a ton of people i wonder if this is one of those homes that you you know you a rich family rents out for a while and it's like a, a few rich families that are friends and they're staying together i don't know which people things you know is the two island trend dying out I feel like it's or maybe seeing the end of it I always thought it was a bit silly alright we've got more like I guess kitchen prep space if you're catering or something and where does one go to enter this house oh is this the elevator nope it's just a little powder room okay I really like this staircase I'm really digging it it is really cool that was really cool. And we once again have this gorgeous center courtyard, which is open to the elements, and it is lovely and lush vegetation. And what is this? Is this like a. Is it like a wine thing? And we can't really stop and look at it. It looks like it's like temperature controlled because it's enclosed and all that. So maybe it's where you would keep wine. You're asking the wrong person. This is cool. Oh, this is this is what leads to the, the bedrooms, which all open up into this. Oh, it looks like you can close these accordion folding doors so you can enjoy the view or close them for a little bit of privacy. Yeah, it this look at this the way this it came there. It feels resorty. It feels resorty. Um I'm really, really loving this light from above. I love clever architecture like that that lets in light from all sorts of neat places. It's got a bidet. <laughs> oh, nice, simple shower. Looks like it drains over there, which is kind of cool. I take it all the bedrooms are like this, so I don't know that we need to go in all of them. They are probably all pretty similar. Yep. How many are there, and where do you go to enter? house, I still don't know. I don't know where that goes. Um, okay, we're in a family room. Beautiful. It's cozy. It's like, holy cow. That is... Okay, let's count the pillows. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 18, 19, 20, possibly another one, 21. There was another one behind it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. That's enormous. It's wild. Um, I love this, though, that if you're watching TV, you don't want light, you know, filtering in, distracting you from looking at the TV, so you can, you can close it off and probably make this whole space like really dark and cozy. It's just, it's really cool. It, if I had a ton of money, it would, I'd love to stay here. But you definitely, I feel like you don't live here year-round. I'm not getting a year-round lived-in vibe. Okay, this must be the master. Really nice, soft, recessed lighting. And a nice, like, private balcony outside. Little comfy couch over here. And let's see the bathroom. What? 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 Oh my gosh, maybe someone does live here year-round. Oh my gosh, maybe not, but... Holy cow. It's the fanciest little toilet room I've ever seen. The bathroom has like a private patio, though. This is so luxurious. This is a big old fancy shower and it's got like a, a little shelf to keep all your products on. But look at this. This is what I'm freaking out about. You just got this gorgeous little calla lily garden like right outside your bathroom. What? Yes. I love it. Where does it go? To the outdoor shower. 
amazing view. Check out the pool area. Imagine staying here for- oh my gosh, the sun is setting in this door. Look at the clouds. It's so cloudy, you can barely see the sky. That's quite cool. Wow, it's like a wall, wall of cloud. Looks like a storm coming, almost. Holy cow, though. I wonder how much if you were to, you know, stay like night by night, how much would it cost? Absolutely stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. I still didn't find the entrance. I just realized it must have been that really... Wait, there's a second floor. That's right. I forgot about the staircase, you guys. I forgot about the staircase. No. I, I can't believe I almost forgot about it. Okay. Oh, this is the entrance. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Um, leads down somewhere. I don't, I'm not sure where the garage, but, garage is, but... And what's, uh, what's, what's in here? Is this another bedroom? Oh, another really nice kind of private bedroom. So you've got two kind of master suites, and this one has its own little private TV area and old private balcony. Wow. It's very private. Okay, let's see the bathroom. Oh, oh, too far. Oh my. Another little private garden outside. I don't know which one I like more. I don't know if I like this bathroom more. secure self. Wow, 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 wow. It is a, it is a wowing kind of place, isn't it? Kind of, kind of fantastic. I, yeah, I'm a big fan of this one. I've really loved this one and the last one. They're just so open and light and airy and beautiful. Okay, let's move on though. We're going to Berlin next. Yes, I think this is an apartment. It is, uh, million US dollars or 4.8 euros. It's only a two-bedroom apartment, but it is like a beautiful uh, only 10-year-old apartment in Berlin, and I thought we have to see it because we haven't gotten too many European things, and obviously there's like a lot of luxurious places in Europe, but they don't always have the 3D tours, so, but this one does, so let's, let's go check out this apartment. Wow, okay. Gone for a very Rococo style. Is this Roco I always struggle a little bit with the Rococo style. Okay, I take it this is the entrance, I feel like. Wow, it is a very, very luxurious. I chose this one because it was a very different style from the other places we've been looking at, which are often very modern. And I always want to be able to show you guys a combination of. Some of you might not be into the modern at all, but maybe this is right up your alley, so it's an awfully small, kind of cramped feeling bathroom, but then this is only like a guest bedroom, isn't it? This isn't, uh, this isn't anything too special. And then, an, oh, this is the closet, I take it. Yeah, this is too ornate for me, I think. It, I, yeah, I'm not particularly into it with the heavy drapes and all that. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit much. <laughs> but I appreciate it for other people. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit pretentious too. <laughs> I think it would be cool to stay in a historic home that's kind of like this. But the fact that I know this was built, oh my gosh, the ruffles. Chandeliers. I know this was built in 2013, so it's like, all right, well, you've you've made it and decorated it to look old and fancy, when in reality it's just quite modern. So, yeah, and then you've got this very modern terrace right outside. It is. It's nice. Oh, it's tiny, tiny little office kind of thing. 
this was the master which wasn't huge it was only the two bedroom that was the other one yeah okay it wasn't too big but uh, it's still you know millions of euros I think the location is really good it's like right in the heart of Berlin it's like right on a park those of you who are your German or Berliners like you'll I guess you'll know if this is a really good spot I take it it's really it's a really good part of Berlin it's a it's a penthouse yeah it's luxuriously equipped fully furnished so they're selling it furnished the detailed furnishings are available upon request with the property documents that didn't look fully furnished to me did it look fully furnished to you I guess it depends on what people mean but that does that is interesting to um, consider for the price okay next place okay we're hopping over to France now we're gonna look at this little chateau which I thought that would be you know we'll continue along our kind of old European although the last one was really old but um, does it say when this was built actually Just kind of curious, you know, just like this wall and all that, this 
most of the day and it is in the US. Sorry, I know I said that I wouldn't do the US, but then I also said that like if I saw a cool house in Hawaii or Alaska, I would consider it. And this is in Hawaii and it looks pretty outstanding without a lot of tropical locations. Um, and this video, I guess, which makes sense, is always more expensive for like beachfront property, right? So this is just under 5,000 square feet, so that is a lot. I mean, they always, I've always heard that um, Hawaii real estate is exorbitantly priced. It is very expensive to live there, and while I would like to go to Hawaii, I don't want to, I don't know, I don't want to support the whole, like, the Hawaiian tourism that's, like, driving native Hawaiians out of their own home, like, you know, it's such a, it's such a Okay, this is not that old. Look at those property taxes compared to the castle. Oh my gosh. Alright. Oh, we can see where it is here. It's the big island. Yep. So, yeah. It's, I'm like torn between like, I don't want to be one of those people that goes and, like, especially like the people who go and they buy these places, like they're, right, they're this happens in any place that has a lot of tourism. They go and they drive up the price of homes and locals can't afford real estate. I mean, it has, uh, it, it had happened to me where I used to live, uh, when I was looking for houses. Like, I was driven out of home because so many foreigners, well, by foreigners I just mean, like, people not from, from where I was from, were coming in and buying up all the houses and driving the price up, so... I can't relate. So, but we can at least look at this house for free and uh, and not contribute to that. All right, we've been dropped in at yet again, not the entrance. It's like a beautiful. It's definitely like the uh, from what I know, like a modern Polynesian or modern tropical style. This deep cherry wood and like these uh, um, ceilings like this. I don't know, I've seen a few houses that kind of look like this. So here's the kitchen. I like this backsplash. That's really fun. The like textured pebble look. It's pretty cool. I was hoping I could find the front door, but oh, maybe this is the entrance. Oh, maybe it is. Looks like garage over here. Beautiful. Like, I love this grass growing through the stone, and it kind of almost looks like volcanic rock. So I guess that is the front door. Okay, well, it's just an interesting, kind of odd place to come in, I feel like. You just kind of plopped into the middle of this giant room. Okay, there's like a bar over here. It's cute. And, um, let's see what's over here. Oh, a little, like, home office area. Again, I don't know if this is a place where, like, people live or people pay to stay here. Or both. Um, I don't know, you know. There's a signed poster for Toy Story 3. It's interesting, don't you think? That is interesting. Look, they've got everybody's signature, including Tom Hanks. And this is like a who, who do you think who lives here? Huh. Sometimes, you know, we stumble onto celebrities' homes and we don't even know it. This might not be a celebrity, but this might be like a big 
you guys keep watching them 